It's clear that you guys are excited about you know, bringing your students and even the personal experience that you guys have had. What would you say to other youth leaders, first timers, how do they get their students excited about coming and willing to make the sacrifices to make the weekend happen? I mean, excitement, excitement will breed excitement. Um, so a lot of that does rest on us, but I think even using simple stuff that's out there, I mean, use, I mean how often do you get it out there? Is it, you, is it one time in, in three weeks that they've heard about it from us, maybe your frequency? Um, using the DVD, play it more than once. There's typically different promo videos on there, I think. So, I mean, use different ones. Um, maybe put it out there in different ways, just a random text. 185 days and counting to dare to share. They're like, what are you talking about? And then, you know, you start the conversation and then, and then the goofy stuff like, yeah, we're going to stop here at this world famous hot dog stand on the way home. And we're going to, we're going to do this and we're going to be here with how many other people, you know, get a venue size and, and, and just the, the typical teen stuff. You know how to do it already. I'd probably say, I kind of agree with you. Yeah. Just like you do to get them hyped up for a laser tag event or hyped up for anything else you do, put that same kind of intensity into this, create it, make it what you will, and then uh, help them win. I think another thing is making it seem doable. Um, the, 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 the logistics for the kids. Tell them, like, I'll talk to your parents. Have your parents talk to you. Like, I'll get a, a normal youth group night. Can you talk to my parents so I can come to youth group? I was like, what? It's like, I'll talk to your parents. I'll get your parents on the board. You're coming. You know, it'd be affirmative to them also maybe. You're coming. I just want to see how my friends are bringing with you or something like that. So I think a lot of it does your right rest on us and, and the what and the how that we do it to get them all excited. I think it's, yeah, it's just like anything else to some degree. But, you know, depending on how passionate you are about something, I think that resonates when you're working through the promotional part. I mean, mm -hmm. we start, uh, I guess my advice to other youth leaders would be start early. I mean, we start three months before the event and it's a regular part of whatever it is we're doing. We've done mm -hmm. all kinds of crazy things mm -hmm. through the year. I will dye our hair if we get so many kids to come or, you know, we try to, you know, use church budgets so your, your ticket price is cheaper or what we've done just about everything under the sun, I think. And um, yeah. because it's meaningful to us and we know the value of it. And so, you know, when you really value something and, and never, if you've never gone before, you might not understand just how valuable it is. So that might be a challenge, but you know, if you can kind of take that step of faith and trust us that it's, it's really that valuable. Uh, and, and we, I know my husband and I, man, we just, we have so much value in the conference that we've done just about everything under the sun I mean, pay for their ticket, dye our hair, do whatever. And, um, you know, you're willing to go that distance and spend the time in, in promoting it, then you're right. I mean, the kids are going to come just because they're not necessarily going to come because they want to learn how to evangelize. They'll learn anyway, and yeah. they'll be great afterwards, yeah. but, but they'll come, you know, just because you're excited and they want to go to a fun thing, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. I'd say you involve people outside your youth ministry in your youth ministry for this weekend. Get, um, get PR in main service. Have it said to other people because there's something I'll have, you know, people, they'll, it's like, hey, they'll go up to my students. Are you going to that Dare to Share event? And I didn't tell them yeah. to say that. And so it's, there's this buzz, not just in the youth room, um, but Jeremy amongst Clyde. the parents, send the email, parent email out or say stuff. If you can get a little time to say something in your services or bulletin announcements or whatever it can be, mm -hmm. um, websites and Facebook. If there's more than just what's said in the youth room, there's more reason for it to keep coming to mind and to generate the momentum. Well, and if there's going to be, you know, we had one student um, that told their youth leader, it's like, well, I had no idea. I thought we were just going to sit there all weekend and listen to preachers all weekend. And I'm thinking, what did you tell these kids about there to share? <laughs> yeah. That, you know, there's music, that there's drama, there's sketches, yeah. there's uh, outreach experiences, oh, yeah. there's hands-on, there's movie clips, there's, there's hands-on stuff that we're going to do. And it's thousands of kids gathering together for the cause of Christ. Mm -hmm. And you start talking that way. And like I, I think of the, uh, the band we're bringing for the follow tour ever found. Uh, so good. These Russian brothers that are absolutely passionate yeah. about Christ and have this anthem kind of worship sound. And, you know, these guys came to the Dare to Share conference uh, to check it out. Um, 
and they were blown away. They came up with so many different song ideas, and we talked to them about the cause of Christ and what that means to advance the cause. They wrote a song called "Live the Cause," you know, and and play, you know, mixed it in their basement. And it's phenomenal for students to know that, to get to know Everfound, you know, to get to know mm -hmm. Zane and his story. Show the you know the, the the video of his his story on his website, you know, that ZaneBlack.com that kind of tells that story. Getting them on the Facebook page of Dare to you know Facebook.com/slash/Live the Cause. And reading other students' stories of, of impact and dare to share, and that there's, you know, the torn curtain drama ministries, that there's dramas that will just, you know, Friday night will just tear your heart out and, and give you a passion, and there's sketches that'll make you fall out of your seats and laugh, and that, that we gotta amp that stuff up, all the more so because you think about it, we're training these students how to share their faith. Uh, so we have to, amp that other stuff up all the more because I think a student doesn't really know how impacting that can be sharing their faith until they're actually there.